Yo, it's Duff for the Cloud Chaser TV, man. We back up in this thing again, you dig? Let me ask you this question about um, P. Diddy. Like, far as, like, the raid, like, a lot of people, okay. had, they, like, Eugene, y'all both had called it, like, he was going to get raided, and some of these allegations was going to come out. So, like, like, what's your response to that, bro? Like, how did, how did you have that type of info? Well, common sense, I call it. If I'm an informant or Gene's an informant or whatever, one thing the police ain't gonna let you do is be telling shit before it happens. Because now you doing what? You're endangering their lives, they will say. So if I'm telling something like that and I have knowledge that that was going to happen and one of those cops got hurt doing that raid or got shot or something like that, their families would be suing me definitely civilly. But I might be held to some criminal acts. So I think that stupidity where people to say, oh, because he's an informant and all of that, and he's working with the government or he sets it up. So you're going to tell it in advance? Y'all got to think about what, what y'all be saying. Yeah, no, that's a fact. That actually makes a lot of sense because that is putting a whole lot of lives in danger at that point. Yeah, let one of those cops got hurt doing that, and, and, and they got some knowledge that I knew somehow that that was going to go down. And one of those motherfuckers came up dead or something like that. Man, sometimes you tell people, I don't want to hear that shit. I ain't talking about cop stuff. If a nigga about to go do something right now, you told me I'm about to go do this. Nigga, don't be talking to me about no shit like that. <laughs> nigga, bye. I don't want to hear that. Your motherfucker. But, you know, a lot of people that don't haven't been in those situations and don't have that street common sense. You know, they tend to believe other things. So, like, with the Diddy whole situation, what Diddy, like, far as the allegations that it came up so far, like, what, like, do you believe him? Oh, I believe him wholeheartedly. I've been saying that. I've been telling it before Cassidy came out with her shit that that's what he was doing, dealing with and doing. And for me to sit up and say, now, I'm saying based on what Mark Curry and Gene Deal are saying, how they are on YouTube talking about drinks being made and 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 this happening people waking up with with their book their book their butt sores uh sore and uh talking about ask usher about the diddy camps and all of that and so based on hearing all of that that would be like wait a minute hold on if people like that that's allegedly around him i ain't never been around puffy in my motherfucking life if it wasn't for an event but people that surround them in those type of settings saying shit like that, you better believe they come. Let me start saying some shit about Suge Knight did this to a little boy. Or, and I'm not saying, I would never say that. I, I have never seen that or, or believe Suge has a trait like that. But I'm just saying, let me start saying some shit like that. Let me say some, put some age things on some of these. Anyway, let some stuff like that start happening and see how... Um, how quick he started getting investigated, along with some accusations. So, how do you feel about Gene Deal though? Like, is he is he, I guess, shining the Gene light Deal on the truth, going, or does he have a motive? Or like, what's your thoughts on him? Because he's kind of going Deal, hard at Diddy, no Diddy. Gene Deal has learned the social media. You know, he's working. He's doing. He's he's doing his. He's doing content. He's making shit up to, to entertain y'all. He's worse than Jack World Right. No two motherfuckers to sets on the internet and make shit up, read shit, and but they're very entertaining. Get in the comments and y'all let me know what y'all think. It's Duff for the Cloud Chaser TV. Gang.